Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. It's time to react, y'all. Yes, it is, brother. And what are we reacting to today? Avatar, The Way of Water, official teaser trailer. The Way of the Water. Yes. This is something I think a lot of people have been waiting for. You know, rumors have been told that this movie's supposed to come out years ago. Yeah. Now we're here. Here we are, waiting. It's been talked about, but uh, they've been they've been building this movie. And uh, Cameron's been telling us over the years that... He's had like three, four movies of this plan. Like he's he's got an Avatar universe in store. Yeah, and he's been dedicating the last moments of like his career, like doing Avatar movies and stuff. He's been shooting them back to back. So I can't wait to see what he's got in store, man. Because it's been a while, bro. It's been a, a very long time since the last one. That was back in uh, two thousand nine. Two thousand nine, yeah. and that was an impactful film. Like it, it really furthered and excelled movie technology. Yes, it did. Um, shot and progressed in three D. You know. Cameron with his background in engineering, mm -hmm. all this new technology specifically for this movie to be made this way. It was crazy. Uh, just photorealistic. The visual scenery of like this Pandora world, underwater uh, action, like above surface action, and then 3D on top of that. Like, <laughs> you, like you really were like, what's, the, what's real and what's not? You couldn't tell. It was like, yeah, bro, I, I wouldn't catch it. I remember watching that. I watched it at the Regal Theater. Okay. You know, the one with the balcony with like the 90 foot screen, like yeah. the biggest screen they got. Oh, yeah. And I remember watching it and I was like, yo, this movie does look amazing. Oh, yeah. The story wasn't all there, but yeah. I did enjoy what I saw and it was an experience. And I definitely agree with you. It upped the Annie's as far as visuals. Yeah. Because in the back of our mind, even when we watch simple films, you kind of be like, I seen better. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. let's see if they keep that same energy. Well, this James Cameron. Of course he kept the same energy. Yeah. He won't stop talking about it. All right, let's go. Let's Industrial go. Light and Magic, baby. ILM. Y'all know take, what it is. Let's go take a look at this teaser trailer. Let's get it. James Cameron. He put that in from uh, that, that dedication Terminator. Right. <laughs> from the director of T2, T1, do, 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 do. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Perfect word for that. Photo realism. Like, it's crazy. It does look amazing. It does look amazing. Like, just being able to create a whole new world, bro. Right. Aladdin. Right. <laughs> Semper Cole. Oh. They in our world. Yeah. Time travel. Time travel. Okay, he still got he got the mask on. So they we still can't breathe in their world. I know one thing. Wherever we go, this family got a Tarzan going on. You know what I mean? That's tight. Wow. I ain't gonna lie, G. December, cool. That that looks like it's worth the wait. Yeah. Um I don't know who out there really doubted this movie, but yeah, you know how Cameron comes with the technology and the experience. Like he he's always further excelled in like action storytelling. I think this is gonna be another one of them game changers for those that missed Terminator Aliens, <laughs> The Abyss, which is another underwater classic, which yeah. is great. So yeah. if you don't know He's, he's done it before, back in 89. Like, this is 2.0 of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Like, it's it's crazy. I'm here for this, man. Just on, on the, like, a film aspect of it. But I love that technology. This could single-handedly be the return of 3D. I'm just saying. 3D has been lacking lately. But, like, James Cameron likes to bring to the table, and he doesn't stop talking about it. Yeah. He's bringing some fire. This looks like we're going to have a very unique story this time around. 12 years of writing a story, a script. Cause it's scope, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I I, think this looks a little different because we got uh, 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 both world, worlds seem to be, have merged together. Right. So, and, and we're seeing the interaction. We see like this Tarzan kid or George in the Jungle, whichever one, 
call him. But you got this kid walking around, you know what I mean? He has the mask on, so we obviously we can't breathe in that world yet. But, you know, it, it's it's very strange and unique. I'm very interested in how this story runs. Because visually, I'm already sold. Like, by looking at the trailer, you already know kind of where that, that spectrum of the grade is going to go. Because oh, yeah. visually, we know this is an experienced film. It's just what's going to make the icing on the cake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because the acting on the first one was very good. Yeah. So then you yes. know, and you and you got the returning cast members. Oh, yeah. So we already know the acting is going to be there. The music is going to be so soothing and on another level. The visual is going to be like, what the hell? Oh, yeah. my God. So the only thing about it is I think will really make this one of the perfect films is that story. Sounds about right. Yeah, it's the story. Man, I, I'm ready, though, but... Uh... I, I'm ready to see some re- like traditional 3D returning, man. I think this is going to be it. That's going to be exciting, because it does make a difference when it's shot in like made in 3D versus being transferred in 3D. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And this was I love the photorealistic uh, effects and everything. Like it, you really see like the the moist and like the scars on their faces, like the like the ripple effects in the water, like the how the sun is hitting the water, and the, it was crazy. Did old boy die in the first one? Sam Worthington. I think well his human form did. No 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 no. I'm talking about the the general. Oh Stephen Lane. Stephen Lane. No, I think he's still around. Yeah, he's still around. <laughs> that dude was a villain in part one. Oh yeah, man, yeah. he was he was that that GI yeah, Joe killer. Yeah. He, he was out there trying to murk him, bro. Mm-hmm. Kill him all. Back. I think he's back. Mm. But it's interesting though, because I know that the the rules go like once you die in the human form, you you get you like you get absorbed into the avatar. Like that's your new host at that point. Yeah, your soul goes into yeah. it. It was it was it was trippy, man. Like Yeah, a lot of people were like uh they were like wheelchair bound, but when they went to Pandora they were able to like yeah, yeah, yeah. walk again and stuff. I'm just curious, like they got guns now. Yeah. Like yo, and, like, like technology. Are they, are they soldiers that converted over kind of how uh Worthington did? Right. In uh uh are we allowing that now? Or like, like I'm just very interested in the new storyline because yeah. at first it was to take over that world. Yeah. Now that world is combined with our world. So I think the physics and the rules have changed the way it's looking. They're trying to create a society. How much in the future do you think we have gone? Because they did live a long time though. Probably what past fifty years or so, maybe a hundred years. Because mm. the avatars, they they have long lasting lives. The Matrix. Yeah. Oh, sound. I mean, the way it's looked, like you said, like we they further advanced and. The lifestyle that they was living, they had weapons, artillery, they had a military base. They didn't have none of that. It was a jungle the last time we saw them. Oh, this is going to be a wild yeah. thing, man. New creatures. Yeah, bruh, that like, too. So yeah. I, I think your camera's going to catch us up, man. But uh, I think they got technology that where they can go to different planets and things like that or create their own at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to lie. I, I want to see that official trailer to oh, yeah. get a little bit more on the story. But... It looks good. It looks great. It looks I, good. I, 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 some of the tickets going to sell. I'm getting mine. That experience. I want to experience that big theater again. Oh, shit. I got to either have the one that surrounds me. So I'm going to research some theaters. I'm either the 4DX where it goes around yeah. or 4DX, and this would be nice. Yes, this is worthy of that. <laughs> yeah. Boom, the water. Box office predictions, a gazillion dollars. So this is going to hit a billion. Cameron always hits it. Bro, who's coming out in December? <sighs> I don't think it's any competition for Avatar. I mean, who's coming out in December? Because if you are, stay wait, home. Wait, wait, no, Paramount. Oh, Mission Impossible. That ain't finna touch this. And then we got Part Eight coming next year. But that ain't gonna touch this Mission Impossible. Even though my boy TC's in it, but Nate, that's not gonna touch. Not that. competition, but it's coming out around that time. I'm trying. Who gonna be able to compete to say I'm gonna have two tickets? I'm gonna be like I'm gonna have. No, I'm have my Unless you twenty five dollars and a costume on. I don't know. I have my twenty five dollars and I'm like, yeah. yeah. Aquaman? Does Aquaman come out in December? It might. I don't think Tell I, me. I don't think it'll come out during the summer. I don't think it's summer. It's probably later on. Like no, oh, in December. Yeah. That ain't touching us either. Not visually, but we both underwater. Under the sea. Under the sea. I don't know, dude. That's a good question. You got you got me in a loop right now, but bro, guaranteed gazillion dollars. I'm telling you, the just, the last one did make a lot, but you know what? The world has changed. True, we are not the same that we true. were in 2009, and that could be worrisome because again, the critiques and the cries are always, oh, there's no more regional movies anymore. Well, here you go, and and, and I will say this. I think it could make that money, that billion dollars, 
But first thing I'm I'm hearing right now, I mean, it looked good, but yep. I'm not trying to just watch blue people half naked jumping though. Did you watch the movie and the story and everything? That's why I said the story got a bit. If the story hits, gotcha. Like on some uh, uh what's the movie? Um, uh, the water one. It was like, uh, what was the movie, bro? I, I, I um. What's his name? Did it? Ah, uh, uh, dang! It's with the the mermaid. This is tight, y'all. Cause this this is what happens. We be sitting here talking. Um, uh, he looked just like old boy off of Hellboy. Ron Perlman. Oh, oh, the fish dude. Del Toro. Del Toro. Shape of water. Shape of water. Shape of water. You got a shape of water. Black Lagoon. Creature from the Black Lagoon. If you got a shape of water type of story. Heck yeah. With this. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. You win. <laughs> and then whoever is in December, yeah. they're going to be like this. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> That's funny. Hope you guys enjoyed our reaction and our love for film and cinema. Yes. I like to go in and put those two in some people don't even know it. But you know what I'm saying? If you're new to the channel, go to push that subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm J3. Fun show guy. Woo! Ninja Assassin. Under the water. Yes. <laughs> 100,000 subscribers, y'all. We 